If you want to run Windows games on Linux, the good news is that it's easier than ever thanks to Proton. Linux native games will launch right after you install them, but many Windows-only titles need a compatibility layer. That's where Proton comes in. To enable Proton, open Steam, go into the settings, and look for the compatibility section. Turn on Steam Play for all titles and choose a Proton version, for example Proton Experimental. Keep in mind though, not every game runs with Proton Experimental. Some may need a different version of Proton. Sometimes a game won't start even with Proton enabled. In that case, you can try adding launch commands. To do this, go to your Steam library, click on the game, and then click on the gear icon on the right side of the game page. From the menu, select Properties. In the Properties window, you'll see a field for launch options. That's where you can enter the commands suggested by the community or from ProtonDB. ProtonDB is one of the most important tools for figuring out how to run Windows games on Linux. You just go to the ProtonDB website, type in the name of your game, and open the results. There you'll find reports from other users, which Proton versions they used, and any special launch commands that worked. Games are usually rated Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze, or Borked. If a game is marked Borked, it means Proton probably won't be able to run it at all. Now, sometimes you'll see people recommend Proton GE, which is a community-built version of Proton that often works better than the default versions. Proton GE doesn't come with Steam by default, but you can install it easily with a tool called Proton UpQt. If you don't have it yet, you can install Proton UpQt as a flat pack. Once installed, just open it, pick the Proton GE version you want, and download it. After restarting Steam, you'll see the new Proton GE version in your compatibility options. The general rule of thumb is to start with Proton Experimental. If that doesn't work, move on to Proton GE or other Proton versions. Always check ProtonDB for tips and launch commands, and be ready to test a couple of different setups until you find one that works. With a little patience, most Windows games can run surprisingly well on Linux. Another smart step before installing a game is to check whether it still has an active player base. You can do this on the SteamDB website. Just search for the game, click on it, and look at the in-game number. A high number means lots of people are currently playing while a low number usually signals that the game doesn't have much interest anymore. This is especially important for multiplayer titles, because the last thing you want is to install a game and then realize there's no one around to play with. 